InfluencerSoft is one of the most exciting all-in-one platforms that's currently available on a lifetime deal. But when you go on their website, the information and the support's not exactly easy to see. And if you're like most people, you probably have a web presence already on WordPress. And the question is, does InfluencerSoft work with WordPress? And if so, how? In this video, I want to show you three ways that you can connect your InfluencerSoft funnels that you build very easily, drag and drop, in with your WordPress website in this video. Let's go ahead and dive into it. Hey guys, John here from IncomeMesh.com, helping you build smarter and more profitable sales funnels. If you're interested in Influencer Soft or if you're just an addict to lifetime deals like I am, be sure to check out the link down below, which is my affiliate link, to check out Influencer Soft for a one-time price, which is really phenomenal compared to what's out there with the ClickFunnels and Kajabis and all that in the world right now, okay? Um, also, I have some bonuses that you can kind of check out down below as well if you do decide to check out Influencers Off while they're still available on their launch pricing. I do know they're in the middle of their launch and so their lifetime deal pricing will not be around forever. So if you're even curious, I'd recommend check that out before it's too late. All right, let's go ahead and waste no time here. Let's dive in. The first thing, if you want to integrate your funnel in with your WordPress website is you got to build a funnel. So in this example, we're going to build a very simple uh, email nurturing funnel where we're going to have an opt-in form. And there's two things to know here. So when you're collecting leads, you can either build squeeze pages and landing pages, opt-in pages like this, where the entire page is built out in Influencer Soft, or you can just build a small little widget, a little box where you can collect the information and put that anywhere you like, okay? In this video, I wanna show you both ways. So way number one, let me first show you here that I've got my website. This is the demo website we're gonna use on this video today, Influencer Soft Demo. It's just a simple Astra built WordPress website, fantastic. It'll be great for this tutorial. So the first thing is when you're on your homepage of your website, you definitely wanna have a hero section that calls to action and gets people to convert, right? So in this case, I've got a very standard uh, hero image with a button. What I want to do for version number one is send that button over to an influencer soft landing page. Okay, let me show you how to do that. First, we're going to come over to our funnel and we're going to build in an opt in form page, a landing page. Let's remove the one that I pulled in earlier and let's just build one out real fast. So we'll call this free checklist. Create a page. And for the sake of time, I'm going to use one of their built-in uh, landing pages, but you can design whatever you would like. So let's say here, the subscription page, pull this guy in. It's going to build everything out. I'm not a huge fan of their templates, their built-in templates. I prefer to design my own, but their page builder is pretty usable. It's pretty easy. Uh, you don't need, don't need all that muss and fuss to build a good looking page, but this one will work for the sake of demonstration. All right. So I've got my email. One thing I want to do here is I want to remove that email and name labels here. Let's remove those field labels. Boom, that looks better already. And then you, you could change the color of the button if you want to. So there's a lot you can do to make it pretty easy. I think that looks better. The blue and the orange, go Gators. And I'm gonna go ahead and save this page. Now you'll notice I did no configuration on that opt-in form right there. And that's on purpose. We're gonna do all that on the actual visual funnel builder. So I've built out my opt-in page. Let me just click this little camera to take a, a picture of it. And then I can also link up to some of my uh, uh, custom domains. If you do get the lifetime deal right now, they're actually offering unlimited custom domains. So if you do this for clients, or if you want to be able to have different experimentations in different brands, you're not limited to only a single domain or you don't get added on. So you get unlimited domains and unlimited pages with their current lifetime deal, which is pretty, pretty sweet. So we're going to call this test Let's get over here, test page. All right, and let's just name this download freebie. All right, now let's send this over to a thank you page. So let's just go to a content page here. And so what happens is once they opt in, you're just gonna tell them where they go next and we're gonna add them to an email list. So let's just say here without category, let's just call it, this will be my little test one here. So when they opt in, they get taken to the thank you page. We also want to send them an email with the freebie that they asked for, right? So I'll do that by dragging an email block in and just connecting it there. And let's just send a quick little email. It says, here's your freebie. Ding, ding, your freebie has arrived. I'm just going to type out a quick email here. And let's add a link in where they're just going to go to my website if they opt in. So we'll say, great. And that'll work. All right, so I have my email set up. And then I want to send them to some sort of thank you page. We'll call this thank you page. And 
as you guys know, I am a fan of optimizing that thank you page, maybe making it a sales page. But in this case, let's just go ahead and um, use one of my simple templates. This will work. Simple thank you, where it'll say, awesome, you're in, and give some instructions or further calls to action if you choose to do so. All right, so here's my thank you page. Totally fine. Uh, you can customize it to your heart's content, but I'm happy with a very simple design there. All right, so just like that, we've built out a three-step process. We have a opt-in page, a thank you page, and an email that's going to send out. Let me just remove this for right now uh, so I can turn this funnel on and save it. So now with the funnel on, all I want to do is just preview this, see how it looks, and I'm going to grab that URL. And fantastic. So let's go ahead and head over to our WordPress website now and show you the first way we can do this. So I, all I want to do is change the location of that link, where this link sends people to, and I want to send them to my landing page. Very simple, very easy. Don't, doesn't need to be overcomplicated, right? So we'll open up Elementor here, and let's simply find this button. Click on the button and change the link to my landing page. And I'll hit Update. All right, so I've updated it. Now all we got to do is test. So I'll say swap burning out for a fire within, don't even know what that means. And I'll click on start here and boom, now I'm here on my landing page, loads super quick because it's not on WordPress, it's just its own thing. And I'll put in an email address and hit submit. And it takes me to my thank you page. What's super cool about this, not only does it work, which is quite nice being so quick to work. Um, if I click over here in my analytics, I can actually see uh, where the traffic is coming from. Let me show you one additional little benefit, one magical trick. Let's say I want to see where the traffic actually is coming from. This is kind of a, a tip I didn't think I was going to include, but why not? I want to pull a specific source, a specific link, and I want this to be uh, homepage traffic. I want to show exactly where the traffic is coming from, so I'll call the source, will be blog, campaign will be homepage, or you, know, you can make it however you want to. But in general, I'm going to take this link, let me, let me make sure I, I connect it, so traffic that comes specific from this source is going to give me a link that I can use. Get my face out of here. So I'll copy that link. Now let me go back into my uh, WordPress website and let me swap that button out with this special link I created because it's super valuable to be able to know where your traffic's coming from. So if you're diligent and if you really want to be able to visualize how your traffic is flowing through your sales funnel, this is a practice I'd recommend you get used to doing. So all I'm doing is removing that generic link and I'm putting one in that has the pre-built in UTM parameter code. You can kind of see what's going on there and I'll hit update and let me show you how that looks right now. So now when I click on it, nothing is different for the user, for the main experience. Let me put on a different email address. But now if I click on get it now and I roll through, great. Everything works just fine. Check this out though. This is the pretty cool part. So now if I check out my funnel again and I'm just going to refresh, let me hit save. Just do a quick little refresh. I can actually see that one of my five uh, page views, you see I've got five views on this um, opt-in page so far. One of them actually came specific for my homepage because I can set up that specific tracking link and it'll visualize the data as it's coming through. Imagine how valuable this is if you have five different Facebook ads that are driving traffic to a single opt-in page. Super duper valuable. And then I can see also that two of them got through to the thank you page at a 40% conversion rate. Cool. All right. So that's way number one. Simply take a link, a button, any way that you can send traffic uh, and send it to your opt-in page. All right, now let's talk about way number two. So if you are writing a blog post or if you have a pop-up or anything like that, you might not want to send them over to a landing page. You want, might want to be able to capture that information directly on whatever page you're at. All right, let me show you how to do that super simply. And instead of creating a landing page, I'm just going to create a, a form, an embeddable form, that can be connected the exact same way. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and use the work I've already done and just connect this to the same thank you page, connect it to the same email. It gets a little bit crazy with all the interconnecting lines, but it's still super nice and visual. And let's go ahead and edit this guy and customize it just ba uh, you know, basically. We'll do free checklist as well, form, and under actions, connect it to the same list here. All right, we're just kind of duplicating the work we did on the page, but instead of a page, we can just have this embeddable form right here. So let's go ahead and create one here that looks very basic, very clean, not going to be imposing on anybody. And let's see what we can do to make this design super easy for embedding. All right, cool. So first thing I want to do, let's see if I can make my background color 
I'll, I'll make it transparent so it'll fit into whatever background I have on my website. And let's change the text here and I'll say subscribe to get my free checklist in your inbox immediately. Name, email, get it now. I'll take it. I'll hit save and publish. And this will give me the JavaScript. Just copy that bad boy. And let's head on over to show you how we can put this onto our website. Okay, so we're here on our website. Now, where would be a good place to put this? I might put it here, but I think I can come down to my footer here and I've got the ability to subscribe to my newsletter. So let me hover over here and edit the footer that I have with my website. And I've got a perfect place where I could place it right here. So let me delete what was there. And I'm just gonna bring in an HTML, a code block and oof, eesh, eesh, get right on top. All right, there we go. Slide it right there on top and I'll paste in my form. And you can see here, it's got this design. It's got a kind of a gray box. You can customize it however you want to. I want to be respectful of your time and let's not worry too much about the little details. Okay, you can see here, it comes in. I would probably spend one second. Let me show you how easy it is to edit. Let me come back here and make this text white. Oops. White, save and publish. Cool. Now let me come back here to my home page. And without having to update anything, boom, it's already been updated here automatically for me. And I can go ahead and subscribe here as well. All right, subscribe, get it now. Oh, I don't think I connected it. Okay, so that's why we do this. That's why we test. So I've created my form. Let me go ahead and make sure I save it. Hit refresh. And now let's test that one last time. Hit my refresh button. All right, great. So let's put in John and my email. Say, get it now. And it'll take me right back over to the thank you page. And also because of visual analytics, I should be able to come back to my funnel, hit my refresh button on my analytics and see that somebody did come from this view here. So it's looking a little bit interesting. Let's see if I can. Oh, I see. I see. Uh, so depending on how you want to do your forms, it's going to show you where they're coming from, like how many opt-ins that form has been given. But if you want to actually see how many impressions or page views that form has received, you've got to tell the system where you actually had that page embedded. So let me show you how that works here. I'm going to come back to my home page. Just take this URL. It might not work because I'm on a local uh, website, a local uh, machine. It's probably not going to show me a screenshot of it, but it would if I was on a real website. It would show me exactly the design of that page, and I could be able to see and track the data super easily that way as well. Hey, me again. I'm here in editing, and I realize I showed you the thank you page, but I never actually showed you that the emails deliver, and that's pretty important for an email marketing funnel, right? So uh, just real quick here, I am in my email inbox, and I can see ding, ding, your freebie arrived. It happened pretty much instantaneously, and all the links work and everything like that. It's going to take me over to my website, and it works. Okay, so I want to make sure I was clear on that, and then, you know, to that point as well, simply giving them the freebie is nice, but then you can also do things like adding additional emails afterwards and connecting them with this little yellow plus button and arrow. And then you can say, write another email one day later. So after the previous one, or let's say with a delay of one day, and then you can write the next email and the next, and you get the idea. So you can build up this entire funnel. You can do timers, all these kind of crazy things as well. Uh, but for the sake of this demonstration, I just wanted to show you that the emails do actually deliver. And I also wanted to give you a kind of disclaimer that because I chose to put the, um, the form in the footer, which shows up on every page, it does kind of screw up version number three. So those are two ways that you can do this. And that might be enough for you for what you need. Um, if you want to watch the rest of the video, fantastic, go for it. Also, be sure to check out InfluencerSoft before the lifetime deal ends. All that fun marketing stuff. I hope I was valuable. But let's go ahead and rock into version number three. I'll warn you, though, it gets a little bit messy. Enjoy. Okay? So now that's two ways. One is sending traffic to a landing page. Probably my preferred way. The second way is embedding some content into your page or onto a sidebar or in the footer. The third way I want to show you is how you can actually create a pop-up on your website using this exact same method. So to save myself even more work, I'm just going to go ahead and take this JavaScript again. And let's go back to our website here. 
and let's go to a different page. I probably shouldn't have done it in the footer because that's going to show up on every page and that's going to make the data look kind of weird, um, but it's okay. Let's come back to our dashboard and let's make a pop-up that will appear on exit intent. Let's make it uh, kind of nice here. Let's make a new pop-up with Elementor. We'll call this one exit intent influencer soft. All right. And then it really doesn't matter. I'm going to X out of that. What is this new thing? Starter templates. Oh, that's fantastic. All right, and then here, all I want to do is have one block, and I want to add in HTML. The exact same way we did on the page, I can embed the JavaScript directly here on the, the pop-up, and I'll publish it. So it'll appear on the entire site, but only on exit intent. And then show up to, let's say, show up to 10 times, just so we have enough to, to show you here save and close all right so now that i'm here on the front end of my website if i'm browsing around this is an exit intent pop-up so what i would expect is as i'm trying to leave here it's going to pop up here in the top corner which it does and i can see there is a little bit of a delay because it's loading the the form after the pop-up already hits so that is just one thing to be aware of uh, but that's okay i think it's a small price to pay and i can still put in my name and email and say get it to me now and then I'm in and everything looks the same here in influencer soft so there you go that is three different ways that you can embed your own content into your own influencer soft content into your WordPress website way number one link it to a button way number two embed it somewhere onto the page way number three is have a pop-up that comes up in exit intent and whatnot. And as I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a little bonus. So way number four, if you want, uh, is you can kind of combine version number one and version number three. So let's say, for example, let's go back to our website here. Let's go back to our homepage. Right now you have this, come on, load up. You have our main hero image with a button that goes to a landing page, which works great. I think it's a fantastic way. But also with Elementor and this pop-up we just built, we could even change this out where this button could pull up the pop-up and then send them over as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. Um, I'm just kind of having fun here on the on YouTube video. So instead of sending it to a link, let's go ahead and say, nope, I want you to go to a pop-up. So I'll click on pop-up. I'll bring it down. And I don't know what I called it, and there it is, Exit Intent Influencer Soft pop-up. Even though I had it uh, um, on Exit Intent, this is a way that I can manually invoke that pop-up and pull it in. So let's go ahead and view this page. And now if all is working well, I can click on Start Here, and boom, pop-up shows up as well, and I can rock and roll. Now, what I'll tell you is all these four ways. We're integrating influencer soft and wordpress but we're really not all we're doing is we're taking what influencer soft gives us and we're finding creative ways to use it on our wordpress website using the tools we already know like and trust okay so if you enjoyed this video if this is helpful for you if you think that hey i can do that and if before this video you were thinking oh my gosh funnel seems so complicated so unmanageable i don't know if i can do this check it out I mean, I'm not going to tell you that it's the absolute best platform out there, but you're getting in at probably the best deal I've ever seen for a funnel building software. So be sure to check it out down below. There's a link for my affiliate. I appreciate it if you want to support me in that. Uh, and let me know what you think. Leave a comment if this is helpful. Subscribe, like, do all that fun stuff. I appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.